Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 212. Intrinsic Pathway of Apoptosis. Describe the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. The intrinsic pathway of apoptosis is activated when there is a change in the proportion of anti and pro apoptotic factors. So as you can see here in the picture, when there is an increase in the pro-aptotic factors and a decrease in the anti-aptotic factor, the activation of the intrinsic pathway will occur. And so when this happens, the mitochondria will release cytochrome C and this will activate cytosolic capsaices, which will then go ahead and cause a cellular breakdown. Name a common pro-aptotic protein. A common apoptotic protein is BAX. Name a common anti-apoptotic protein. A common anti-apoptotic protein is BCL2. Name some instances when the intrinsic pathway is activated. Intrinsic pathway is activated in tissue remodeling and embryogenesis. Intrinsic pathway occurs when growth factor is withdrawn from proliferating cell population, such as when there is a decrease in the interleukin-2 after a completed immune reaction, and this leads to apoptosis of the proliferating effector cells. Intrinsic pathway of apoptosis also occurs when the cells are exposed to injurious stimuli such as radiation, toxins, or hypoxia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.